Right now, Florida ranks among the top states in the nation for unresolved homicide cases. With tens of thousands of open cases dating back as far as 1965. But a brand new bill just signed into law by the governor and now goes into effect may hold the key to cracking some of those cases wide open. Our Katie Bente has been looking into this. She joins us outside the Martin County Jail tonight with how this could be a breakthrough that brings closure to countless families. Lawmakers are closing in on a sort of loophole in an already existing law where criminals arrested for certain often more violent crimes are required to submit DNA samples. But under these new regulations, all inmates, regardless of the nature of their offense, will have to do the same. Now that includes everyone being housed here at the Martin County Jail and every other correctional facility in Florida. When it comes to cold cases, DNA has proven to help investigators solve even the most seemingly unsolvable crimes. First of all, sex offense crimes, crimes against children, and then of course in homicides and other violent crimes. And now a new Florida law could be the missing piece to solving some of those puzzles. Under HB 533, the more than 150,000 inmates currently housed in Florida jails and prisons are now required to submit DNA samples. We take a swab and the, that DNA is entered and goes into a national wide database. It's a complex, complicated system, but it's very accurate. The new legislation piggybacks on an already existing bill mandating DNA samples only from those arrested or convicted of certain violent crimes. At the time, that law was sponsored and pushed forward by who is now the Martin County Sheriff. I think that that bill was the signature piece of legislation that I'm most proud of. And I believe that today there are people that were not injured or, or, or children molested uh, because of that bill. Sheriff William Snyder says there's a fine line between public safety and personal privacy rights. I believe that the legislature did their best to strike a balance. According to Project Cold Case, there are more than 20,000 unsolved homicides in Florida. A number Snyder hopes will now begin to decrease and in turn provide loved ones the closure they deserve. Sometimes we just don't have leads and cases go cold. But now we'll have a huge database from, in Florida at least, of offenders whose DNA now we can check against cold cases. So I believe it's going to be a big deal. All DNA samples must be collected and put on file by the end of September. Reporting from the Martin County Jail, I'm Katie Bente, CBS 12 News. All this comes as DNA evidence was used in a recent case to help identify a suspect of a 1983 cold case murder. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office just making that announcement yesterday. To learn more about that story, you can head to our website at CBS12.com. I'm Jim Grimes. Click like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.